trade of the day is going to be Meta today. And hey, they grabbed the AI business uh, headlines as well. Uh, they're getting in charge of it. Uh, look, they're a bit behind, but it's a bit of a catalyst. And I was initially short. And you've seen it, yada, yada, AI. And you go to the upside. And I was prepared that this was going to be another good shorting opportunity, just like it was yesterday. And obviously, you can see on my 15-minute chart, I mean, Meta, you couldn't have lost if you were short just about any single price. I was looking for the pop. Like this 174 level, the last uh, week and a half that had been holding up, had the higher low, good trend to the downside. So I had that line locked and loaded. I was going to test it again if it got there. But sometimes you get a little bit greedy. And this is, it gets up and I actually get a great fill, 173 half, the first time to the upside. Do not get all in doesn't quite give me the full fill. So I'm like, oh man, this is sucks. Not gonna have the full fill. Then hold on to it thinking it's going right back into the lows lows. It was a short hold all day type situation yesterday. It was absolutely not the case today. Yeah. Stared at that dollar, didn't take it. Then when it came in, I don't mind adding here. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get into the position that I wanted originally. But when I get in here, it's too early. You get that wick top, that is your move. If you don't get in here to add to it, then I shouldn't really want to be adding as it retests that high, especially if I haven't relieved any pressure getting out. One thing I've been saying, or at least hopefully been trying to say enough here is, if you have a key price level and you've got a strong catalyst and it is going through, sometimes you gotta be willing to reverse. So the key was knowing this was a reversal situation. Big level, break of that level, stopping out shorts like myself. I know it because I'm in it for the second day in a row and you reverse to a long because it's strong relative to the market and it has a bit of a catalyst behind it as well. So once you're in the long, it's a little bit more simple. Clears out that 174, the initial break, takes you right into like 175, back down, catch a dip by, scalp out to the previous high, breaks the next channel up, gives you a wick top 177, out there as well so very clean dollar move very clean on the second dollar and then you're looking for the dip next consolidation it tries to hold 75 a couple of scalp trades not nearly as strong at that point and that's where I, I get out at 175 because if I'm gonna start scalping in the tight range here I know that if it breaks down the real level is 174 so allow that one to break Scalping is done, and then look for the long off the 174 level. I, I was thinking hold this all the way through a break of the high of the day. I did slap a trail, one of those failing lower highs. Got out of it on the way back down, and that was probably a sucker's out. In the afternoon, I'm looking to play off the 75 now. Forget about the 74. You got a strong upward trend on meta. The reason this is the trade of the day is not because it was perfect, but it was because I accepted that I was wrong once it got above 174, was willing to get out and go in the other direction with the momentum. Always follow the trend. The trend is your friend, and that's your trade of the day.